your involvement in this series me is going to mean so much for young black kids, young black girls um, specifically. For you as an actress, what does it mean that you know this role will be also a role where you'll be a lot of people will be introduced to you for the first time. So what does it mean for it to be in a project like this and just the impact that you think you're going to have on um, young kids all across the world? Definitely in these past couple years, I feel like we're def definitely getting a, a lot of opportunities out here. Like, um, just like, for example, like Little Mermaid with uh, Halle Bailey and stuff. Like, it was amazing seeing um, all these, like, young black girls and stuff and even like older ones to even get these amazing parts i was super grateful to get this part really because i know that you know percy jackson has also like a huge fan base and also like um percy jackson is just like it's a really big thing and i mm -hmm. am just um i know that you know the annabeth uh prototype was you know not how I look like. So, you know, coming into this, um, you know, there was going to be some controversy, but I knew that I was going to take that and, and put that into a good thing for me. Yeah. I wanted mm -hmm. to make sure that that I step in with um, with controversy and then take it out with, uh, here you go. This is what I created for you and stuff. I worked hard for this. I want to make sure that this gets to the right audience and things. And really, like for other um, girls that are auditioning for any type of parts, like never be scared to do it. Like no matter if someone was a different skin tone than you playing this part already, always go for it because it is always great to get the opportunity to just try whatever because um again this is just this is uh just acting this is not you're not transforming yourself into that person for the rest of your life you know like you maybe film it for a year and then after that you're back into yourself so that's how i told myself you know i didn't i didn't let that go into something where i was like well you know that girl she's already looks like this she's already that you know like i can't just change it but really though this is why it's called acting because you're taking you're putting yourself into a different character you're playing someone you're not you're not turning yourself into that person so you know i'm just really excited to play um annabeth and have the whole world see how um good we've all done if yeah, that makes sense well said well said also the fro is giving today i love it i love it yeah. <laughs> thank you so much and of course and Walker and Arian, for both of you, I'm so interested to know about the stunt work that went into this series. Like, it's, it seems like it would be such a, a task ahead, but also seems like it would be fun at the same time. So how did you uh, both prepare for that and what work went into um, preparing what we actually see on screen? Well, I got to do a lot of wire work because I, I wear Luke's winged shoes for a lot of the mm -hmm. series and getting to fly in those was really cool. But I know Walker did a lot of sword work preparation for some of the big fights he has coming up. I did, and you said it perfectly. It is a lot of work, and it's it's also very fun. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's um, it's it's certainly difficult, but um, it's a lot of fun, especially my my uh, my sword fight with Ares at the end yeah. that was very fun yeah. uh getting to fight the edge is probably <laughs> the coolest thing anyone could ever say uh and yeah i think um a lot of people put a lot of hard work into the show and not just i mean us doing the stunts but the people i mean making the stunts possible the whole stunt team they did an amazing job yeah how do you all think that this series will both attract new fans who may not even heard of percy jackson as well as fans who are diehard fans, you know, know everything about it. How do you think it'll be able to appeal to both aspects? So I think that for new fans and even old fans, you know, like, um, I feel like this is like a, a moment for also even younger kids to experience it as well, if that makes sense. Like, you know, when um, this is this is a positive thing, when when the movie came out, you know, they were already older and mm -hmm. stuff so i feel like younger kids seeing it or maybe like teenagers seeing it or adults seeing it you know it's like they're already at an older age but i feel like for um the series and we're starting younger kids that are playing uh, not playing kids that are 12 years old or even younger 
getting to grow up with us in this series mm -hmm. is going to be really great for kids who haven't read the books because like you know this is one of those tv shows that they can really grow up with and um mm -hmm. I feel like it'll be like a great movement to like when they finally get to like 18 years old they're like man i've been watching percy jackson since it first came out you know what i mean so <laughs> and then for people that are die hard fans you know they were reading the books when they were younger but now seeing the kids be that age now it's almost like a proud um uh adult type thing you know what i mean it's like it's like wow i've been reading these books as a kid and now i get to watch this as like a, an adult now seeing these kids grow up into percy jackson so i feel like it's for everyone really it's like a wide audience that uh this show can really reach well thank you three so so much for chatting with me and congrats in advance on the premiere of the show and i can't wait to see more of it thank you thank you so, so thank you. much